future of car design. How is it going to be? To be honest, there are so many things that are changing lately in a such a short time that of course the industry, the automobile industry, the transportation industry, but also all engineers and designers are questioning themselves really where they should put the vision, the future vision of transportation. Cars also have to follow this big change. But how is it going to be? First of all, let's try very quickly to analyze some of the main causes that are pushing all of us to think or to rethink about our way of transportation and of course for car designers how they should uh, perform in terms of creativity and vision about the automobile industry, the car, car's evolution. First of all, let's not forget that the world, the whole world is changing. The, one of the first problems since many years is traffic, huge traffic in all main big cities and not only all over the world. Also today we have in small cities, in small villages, really too many cars. So something has to be done about this big, huge problems that is congesting everybody's life. Second thing that is probably the most important in the last year and I think also for the next uh, year to come or next, next couple of years it's COVID-19, the virus, the pandemic virus. So what's gonna happen? We all had to stay home. We are still, in a way or in another, a little bit uh, worried and scared and stay and prefer to stay home rather than just to go out as we used to do like a year ago. And then uh, the pandemic also showed us that technology, it, it took a, a very important role in our daily life. We can work, because we are connected. So connectivity, it's a, a very important element of this new game. And of course, when we talk about connectivity, we talk about cars, connected cars. We also know that we need a green or a better or a cleaner world because uh, the situation about uh, how the planet has been uh, kind of destroyed by us, by ourselves, it's now evident. And this also has a very strong impact in terms of future scenarios. Governments around the world are deciding and are acting to change some of the most common rules. One of the strongest impact about the Green Deal is that technologies, new green technologies, have to take place of old fossil technologies. Of course, this has a very strong impact on car design too, and how we're gonna make cars for tomorrow. In reality, we already started. Every car company, every major car company, in every part of the world, it's concentrated on new, on new technology, alternative technology, cleaner technology. Sometimes it's also a combination of several technologies. And I think it's a very important responsibility for each one of us that work in the industry to do it, to do it seriously, to believe in it and to act as fast as we can. Of course, there is always a industrial timing that we can, we have to respect, but there must be a way and there will be a way to accelerate a little bit this uh, transformation that should bring uh, for the next years to come probably a healthier planet. So what about car design? What about the industry? As we said, all those uh, main uh, topics I just uh, I just talked about in my introduction are having a very strong effect in, uh, in our way of thinking. Design strategy, the industrial strategy, the new vision that every company should have and not just automotive companies, okay? We can talk, we can uh, we can widen up this type of reasonment also in many other industries. You know, if we think about trains, if we think about uh, navires, uh, ships, big ships, boats, yachts, uh, if we talk about aviation, you know, airplanes, they also have to make uh, a big effort into that because they pollute a lot. And there are already a lots of uh, research and development projects ongoing in the United States, in China, in Europe and also uh, somewhere else in, in the world where people, teams, engineers, researchers, designers, they are all working together to make sure that they can find a best combination of technologies to propose the new product, okay, that it's gonna be much, much cleaner in its use without uh, compromising 
our plan. For car design, uh, we already started a long time ago, about 10 years ago, to take seriously EV technology, electric cars. And uh, it's kind of developing, but in the last two years, if you go and check figures, this just exploded. So today we have a very good percentage every year that keeps on growing of people, families, companies that prefer to buy hybrid cars or fully electric cars instead of buying diesel. So the technology, it's going to be clearing, very, very important. When we put those alternative technologies together with connectivity, what we have? We have a very interesting mix that push us to think about a new different way of mobility for tomorrow. And that's why a lot of people talk about new mobility. Lots of companies are doing it, okay? Some are just researching it, some others are making it. The Chinese government is really giving a lot of support to those companies that uh, invest a lot of money in, re in research and in development about the electric vehicles on this type of technology. And not only, we have also the hydrogen technology. We have uh, mixed technologies that uh, we can, uh, we can uh, experiment and, and probably soon experiment together. So when we talk about this, we understand that the world is changing. It's changing for the better. But this is pushing every single designer. But in this case, I would like to tell you, design students, has to push you to think differently when you are in school. And I'm sure that also design schools are thinking of uh, changing a little bit their, their vision or their target uh, compared to a few years ago. So today we are all, how can I say, involved, engaged in trying to find the right uh, recipe. And this opens all sorts of solutions and opportunities. And that's why I encourage you, each student that is uh, watching this uh, short video about the future of the probable future of car design, to think really how you want to make your portfolio in order to get a job one day in a car design company or in an automobile company or in any design company. Because it's not going to be only on cars, it's going to be also on products. Some products are already eco-friendly. So, what should you have in your portfolio? This is the big question. And I am sure that you are not, and you should not think of uh, making in your portfolio a couple of very nice uh, uh, gasoline sports cars or a big, huge SUV, the way we used to, to conceive them until a few years ago. Because this is not the future, probably not the future anymore. So, you have to understand that those vehicles have to be conceived and thought out in a completely different way. Changing the objectives, changing the targets, changing the purpose, changing the objectives, and also changing the, the, the trends and the taste of the market of tomorrow that is not the market that uh, we have today that is uh, basically a 10 years old market where life was different. The market of tomorrow are the people that today are 15 years old, 16 years old, 17 years old, for, for who their life is 100% connected, and uh, the experience they have in life are completely different from mine, for example. How are they going to behave? What type of vehicles will they love? And will they buy a vehicle like we do today or are they looking in the future will be looking for services like some service, services we already have today for example if you talk about logistics amazon is a very good example of how i am home i am connected and i can get whatever i need so how it's going to be their lives tomorrow in 10 years from today and that's the point to on which you have to be concentrated. How are you going to design, conceive an architecture of a vehicle and what type of design, materials, technology you should put in and what result it's gonna be. The whole, you know, the mixing of all those uh, elements, uh, always to make sure that whatever you 
will do, the, whatever we will do, has gonna be always its appeal, and of course it's gonna be always in uh, in competition with other similar products. And how can we ensure that uh, what we will be doing still will have its own market, still will be successful product, and we can still make a good business out of it because business is business we will always have business this is the point a lot of people sometimes ask me during my design talk like how is going to be the future of car design i to be honest i don't know but if we think about the list of all the elements that i just talked about you understand right away that to make uh, tomorrow's uh, cars it's not really to make uh, to design new cars, but it's to design the new mobility. So please, in your uh, projects at school, in your uh, entry portfolio, in your portfolio for internships, in your final portfolio, if this year you will be graduating, think very much, very strongly and very seriously about this new mobility philosophy to make sure that tomorrow we will have a very good automobile, automotive or transportation industry that will have its place on this planet that should become a little bit better than how it is today. All right, thank you very much. Subscribe if you didn't do it yet and take care. Ciao.